Yes, Elisa. We're officially 10 days away to our wedding day, and I'm so excited yet nervous for it. We have indeed gone through a lot these eight years together and I can't wait to take up the new role to be your wife. People think that our LDR experience was probably the most challenging period in our relationship. Long distance seemed to be such a scary thing, but I think it just made us realize more on how dependent we are on one another, and most importantly, despite the trying times, we constantly chose each other daily. I had so much to say when I knelt down, so here goes. You've been a true lighthouse in my life, despite the million times I've strayed away always standing strong and constant for me. In our entire relationship, you've been through so many ups and downs, yet you've been my pillar of support, never wavering no matter what. You've given me a reason to succeed, a reason to better myself, and you've shown me how powerful love can be, that it prevails even through the darkest times in our relationship. And for that, I thank you for this love you've given to me time and again, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Nashalan as I can be at times, but the truth is, without you, I feel empty. Not because I'm comfortable, but because I know there's none like you. I'm sure the next happiest day of my life will be our wedding day. I can't wait for you to see me in my gown, and most importantly, I hope you love it as much as I do. You may also be stressed out on my opinion of your wedding dress, but just trust me when I say you look beautiful no matter what. The reason why I didn't want to be part of the uh, design process it's because I wanted you to pick what you like, not what I like. I just want to appreciate you for you. So no matter what the design is, you're still going to look beautiful in my eyes. And I will still shed tears of joy knowing that I don't deserve such a beautiful bride. But I'm still standing there because you chose me. Finally, I just want you to know that you're more than what I deserve. And as we embark on this new journey, may we never cease to choose one another. For the rest of my promises, Wait another 10 days for my vows to you. Yeah, I love you very, very much. <laughs> You're soon to be happy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh no, my makeup melted. <laughs> Bernice, today is truly the happiest day of my life in these eight years with you. You're more than what I deserve, and I'm forever grateful to you. So with my whole heart, I, Elisha, take you as my wife, to love what I know of you and trusting what I yet not know, accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. No matter what life brings us, when it seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it's an effort, I promise to cherish you the same and to always face the future together, not looking back or forth, but only towards Him for all the strength we need, because it's only through Him we win our battles. I cannot promise you all happiness or perfection, nor promise you that I will never make you cry or be the perfect man for you, but I give you my word that I'll always strive to be the best for you that I can be and to be your faithful partner, to encourage you and to inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you. I promise that I'll give my all to be completely humble and gentle, patient and bearing with you in love, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow. From this day forward, in the presence of God and all who are here, I give myself to you for the rest of our lives. I love you. Dearest Elisha, 
Today, I take you to be my husband, acknowledging all your strengths and weaknesses as you do mine. I choose you again and again. At the start and at the finish of every single day, no matter the season, I choose you to struggle with and to succeed with, to fight and make up with. to try my best to be a supportive partner in this life. I hope we will always find light in each other when days are dark. With these words and all my love from my heart, I marry you and I bind my life.